my data merge team and today I'm going to show you the improved auto link feature of my data merge version 2. For those who already know the auto link feature, this is an improved version that lets you also auto link image and QR code placeholders. For those who didn't know it, watch closely. I got prepared a business card layout over here and inside this business card I have a few texts called first name, last name, phone one, phone two, email and image. All of those texts are wrapped inside these double arrows which let my data merge recognize them as placeholders where data should go into. The auto link feature will connect these placeholders with their matching column in the data source. As you can see, I have first name, last name, phone one, two, and email. And inside my data source, I have first name, last name, phone one, phone two, and email over here. Additionally, I have an image placeholder up here. And if you watch closely, you will recognize that there's an additional at sign in here, which is not located in the column title in the data source. There's just image. Please watch out, placeholder names have to be case sensitive. So I have a capital letter I over here. So I need a capital letter I over here. The add sign tells my data merge that this is not a text placeholder like these down here, but instead it's an image placeholder and my data merge will try to connect it with the images mentioned in the data source. As you can see in the data source, we have image names, not image paths. There are a lot of scenarios you can have with images and we will handle them in another tutorial, not in this one. In this tutorial, I have image names only and I have my image files placed next to the layout in a links folder. As you can see, I have image one, image two and image three. So let's start by creating a new project. Let's load the layout. Let's load the data file. So now, as you can see, my data merge has already recognized all placeholders and additionally has recognized that image is an image placeholder and not a text placeholder. With starting the auto link feature, my data merge will now connect these fields automatically with the columns in the data source. There's just one thing we need to do as our data source just contains image names and not full image paths. We have to tell my data merge where to look for the images. Therefore, I enter the editor of the image placeholder by just double clicking it or clicking the pen icon over here. And then as you can see, it's already defined as image placeholder. I click the gear icon for the settings and I say choose custom file path. And then I select the links folder next to my layout where the image is now placed in. And right now you can see that my data merge got the right image files. If you want to see the full path, you can click this button down here and it will show you the path instead. So now let's get over to the export area. Let's export records one to three, just to give an example, choose a file type. Now I want to export to an InDesign file and I want to have all records in one document. Let's go choose my result folder and let my data merge do its job. It's already done. And as you can see, my result folder now contains one file. Let's open it. And as you can see, all files have been merged properly. All data has been entered properly. For more complex or complicated scenarios, check out the other tutorials on mydatamerge.com or on YouTube.